Hello and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I am Jeff and I am wearing my Ohio shirt because we are doing a review on a set that most tourists use. And I live in Idaho, so having an Ohio shirt is very appropriate for being a tourist. And yes, there are things to do in Ohio besides tipping over cows. I've lived there for, what, 12 years? Anyway, this is set number 21345. It was released in 2024. 516 pieces and retails for $79.99. Now, if you grew up in a time period I did, the Polaroid picture, Polaroid camera was the thing. Most people had them. And if you don't know the story of the Polaroid camera, I learned it from Paul Harvey before he passed away. He used to do the rest of the story. I don't remember the guy's name, but the guy who invented the Polaroid camera, what had happened, he was on vacation with his family and his younger daughter said to him, why can't I see the pictures you took now? This troubled this guy so much that he went on a long walk, came back and figured out how to make the Polaroid camera. And that's why we have it, because a little kid asked the question, why? And speaking of cultural references, I've got two for you. Yes, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Kind of a funny reference. The, the other reference comes from one of my favorite movies, and that's Fletch Lives. And in Fletch Lives, Fletch has this to say about Polaroids. Uh, well, I've sinned. Uh, didn't take any Polaroids or anything. <laughs> now, to me, it's really funny to see Arlie Ermey in Fletch Lives because he's a, a TV evangelist, a very straight-laced guy versus what he looks like in Full Metal Jacket, where he is a very crass person. Okay, so now that we're done with cultural references, let's get to the actual review. Uh, the dimensions on this guy. This is six and a quarter inches by four inches by three and a half inches. For those on the metric uh, system, that's 16 by 10 by nine centimeters and when we do reviews here we do six things let's go over the first five i have from zero to ten zero being the worst ten being the best i give values to value creativity playability ease of build and part out value what's number six number six is where we average those five scores and give you an overall ranking so let's start off with value this thing uh, like i said it retails for 79.99 and it's 516 pieces no minifigures and four stickers so um yes i understand that there's always a licensing sort of premium on brand name things and polaroid is certainly a brand name thing so i would you know 15.5 cents is a little high and with the stickers i'll give it a value of eight out of ten creativity though um wow this thing is pretty dang cool i like the lens the little focus thing the little flash and, oh yeah, let's not forget this little thing where we used to stick our eyes up there and we used to push this button. And when we push this button, oh, look at that, it's functional. I wonder what's in here. Oh, look at that. It's a Polaroid picture, complete with the black backing, just like the real one. For those reasons, I've got to give this a 10 out of 10. And just in case you didn't like this picture, the set comes with two other pictures. And yes, this is the Lego uh, house in uh, Denmark. Uh, anyway, pretty cool stuff. Creativity is a 10 out of 10. Playability though, I can only give it a five, and this is why. You really can't do much with this besides take three pictures. So um, it's a great set, and I'm not saying it's a bad set, but as far as playability, it ranks pretty low. Ease of build, I'm also gonna give it a five. The inner workings of this thing are quite complex and they cause me a little bit of trouble putting them together. And like I said, I try to rate this based off what my five year old granddaughter could do in her building. So I'll give it a five and it's right at average. And this thing comes with one book and a total of 144 instructions. So that's about three pieces per step. Not too bad. Part out value, um, I'll also I'll give part out value an eight. Most of these pieces can be used somewhere else. There's a few wedge plates that I don't like that are hard to use, but
but other than that there's a lot of other good pieces in here just regular plates and some slopes and some other things so uh, part out value is going to be at eight if you average all that out that's a 7.2 and like i said very nostalgic set because i am a I was born in the 70s and grew up in the 80s and nine, early 90s kind of thing. So, um, yeah, pretty cool to have something from my time period. And uh, according to, uh, to cultural references, this thing is quite awesome. And I hope you guys agree that not only is this set awesome, but my video is awesome. And if you do, hit the like button. Even if you think it's mediocre, please hit the uh, like button. I'd appreciate it. If you feel like I've earned your subscription, please subscribe. Also, if you want to leave me a comment below, let me know if you used to have a Polaroid camera. And hey, they did a reboot. And they do smaller pictures than they do the, re than the regular one. And if you have one of those, let me know. And if you uh, have some great times, great vacations and stuff where you took Polaroids, that's great. But if you have Polaroids of things that like Chevy Chase said in Fletch, I don't want to know about it. Anyway, it's always good. Turn on notifications. And that way you'll know when I put out a video, which is currently almost every day. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to BrickLink and buy pieces for your builds. I have a link in the description. The store is called the Chip Off the Old Block. About a million pieces, and we ship within 24 business hours. So that gives you the opportunity to uh, get things done and to be able to get your build done and me get the money I need for these sets. And also for the shop and the city out there. So anyways, it funds what I'm doing. So I can help you do what you were doing. You can help me do what I'm doing. But if you don't have the financial means, that's totally okay. It's not a requirement around here. If you want to help in other ways, you can just hit the like button. You can also watch another video after this one. Or you can share a link to your favorite video of mine on other social media platforms. That helps out. All right, guys. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And if you're going to send, don't take any Polaroids. I'll catch you on the next one.